Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. DCA Midair involves CRJ-700 and H-60 Army Blackhawk. Asteroid samples contain molecules critical for life. USAF F-35A accident at Eielson AFB. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. DCA Midair involves CRJ-700 and H-60 Army Blackhawk. A chilly Wednesday night was tragically interrupted as an approaching CRJ-701ER was involved in a collision off the end of DCA Runway 33, shortly before 2100 Eastern. Social media showed video apparently pulled from the webcam at the Kennedy Center of the actual collision. The CRJ American Flight 5342 November 709 Papa Sierra was on short approach when the accident occurred, with the last trace showing it terminating its flight path mid-river. The American Airlines flight was a PSA Airlines operation conducted as American Eagle. There were 60 passengers on the CRJ, along with four crew members. Three soldiers were aboard the Black Hawk, which was on a training mission. There were no survivors. The other aircraft involved, call sign Pat 25, was an Army Black Hawk, who appeared to have reported the CRJ or some other aircraft in sight before the collision. Both aircraft went down in the Potomac, and since the water temp was 35 degrees, the minimal chance to impact survival was further curtailed. Reagan National was closed into the next day, and audio of the local controllers showed them quickly responding and vectoring traffic out and away from DCA, while asking local helo operators if any of them had searchlight capability and the potential to aid on a rescue or recovery mission. A massive emergency response took place with dozens of ground and boat units on site. After the break, Conair selects and equips Dyer TBM 960s for firefighting. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Meet the first of a new generation of the M-Class family. The M700 Fury. An aircraft worthy of the name and indomitable force. The M700 Fury transcends traditional limits with more power, blistering performance, a finely appointed interior, and the luxury of what matters most, time. Experience the Fury. Join the legacy. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Conair selects and equips Dyer TBM 960s for firefighting. Conair has selected the Dyer TBM 960 for its wildfire air attack operations, marking the first time the TBM aircraft family will be used in this role. The TBM 960 will serve as a replacement for the agency's aging bird dog fleet. Since wildfire suppression will be an unfamiliar role for the aircraft, the new set of TBM 960s are being retrofitted with specialized avionics and equipment. They will be deployed in Canada during the 2025 fire season, with a government agency air attack officer sitting right seat and a Conair pilot on the left. Pilots call on JetBlue for fair contract. Pilots working for JetBlue Airways, represented by the Airline Pilots Association International, called on the airline to come to the negotiating table with contract terms that reflect the improved financial picture painted by the airline in its last earnings report. JetBlue Airways reported quarter four 2024 earnings that were better than expected, with management forecasting a positive operating margin for 2025. Boeing's annual losses reach $11.8 billion in quarter four. On January 28th, Boeing published its fourth quarter and full year 2024 earnings report. As expected, the manufacturer's losses and deliveries were nothing to brag about. Boeing reported a revenue of $15.2 billion in quarter four and a full year revenue of $66.5 billion. In comparison, the troubled playmaker brought in $22 billion in quarter four and $77.8 billion in 2023. This represents a 31% quarter-to-quarter decrease and a 14% drop for full year earnings. 
The manufacturer also hit a $5.46 loss per share in 2024 quarter four, compared to four cents a year prior. Japan chooses Beechcraft T-6 to modernize pilot training. The Japan Air Self-Defense Force has selected the Beechcraft T-6 Texan II integrated training system to modernize the training for its pilots. With the purchase, Japan joins 14 other nations that have selected the T-6 to add to the fleet of over 1,000 T-6 aircraft delivered worldwide. The Beechcraft T-6 Texan II was designed and built by Textron Aviation Defense. It was selected at the conclusion of a thorough and highly competitive evaluation of training solutions offered by a number of bidders. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Asteroid samples contain molecules critical for life. Samples returned to Earth from asteroid Bennu by NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft probe have been studied and have revealed the presence of molecules that here are key to life. In addition, they showed a history of salt water that potentially could serve as a broth to facilitate interactions among the molecules. The regolith samples do not contain evidence of life itself, but rather the conditions necessary for life as we know it, which could be widely dispersed across the solar system. This suggests a higher probability than previously thought for the existence of life on other planets and moons. Research papers published in the scientific journals Nature and Nature Astronomy shared some of the first in-depth analyses of the Bennu samples that were returned in 2023. The Nature Astronomy paper reported the presence of 14 of the 20 amino acids that organisms on Earth use to make proteins. Also present were all five of the nucleobases that Earth life uses to store and transmit genetic information in DNA and RNA. Nucleobases are the fundamental units of the genetic code and the mRNA-driven protein-making machinery in cells. After these messages, USAF F-35A accident at Eielson AFB. The legendary BD 4 seat program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The Surewings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD 4 cs in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit Sherwings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. Welcome back. USAF F-35A accident at Eielson AFB. A U.S. Air Force Lockheed Martin F-35A Lightning II crashed during an approach to Eielson Air Force Base outside of Fairbanks, Alaska on January 28th at about 1 p.m. local time. The aircraft went down inside the fence at the base, but the pilot safely ejected and was taken to Bassett Army Hospital for evaluation. The aircraft was operated by the 354th Fighter Wing, and video footage of the incident shows the fighter spinning towards the ground with landing gear extended and its canopy missing, with the pilot descending under a chute a safe distance away. It has not yet been determined what caused the accident, but an investigation is underway. In the meantime, all air movements have been halted at the base due to the closure of its single runway. Colonel Paul Townsend, commander of the 354th Fighter Wing, said, quote, Our people are our most important resource, and we are committed to ensuring their safety and security. I can assure you the U.S. Air Force will conduct a thorough investigation into this incident to minimize the chances of such occurrences from happening again, end quote. The base has had F-35A Lightning II fighters since April 2020. They are flown by the 355th and 356th Fighter Squadrons. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.